In yet another propaganda by Pakistan, Pakistan Navy has announced that it has successfully tracked Indian Navy's P-8I aircraft, which was flying over international waters and was already visible on public platforms like Flight Radar 24, and in reality, the P-8I was able to map the entire Pakistan Navy deployment. The Union Home Ministry has asked several states to conduct mock drills on 7 May, that will include operationalization of air raid warning sirens, provision of crash blackout measures, and provision for early camouflaging of vital installations. Russia has announced that it will deliver the second advanced Talwar class frigate on 18 May. Greek authorities did not allow the Indian community in Greece to protest at the Embassy of Pakistan in Athens, despite allowing the Pakistani community to protest at the Indian Embassy for many years. After testing 450 km range Abdali missile last week, Pakistan has conducted a test of 120 km range far tattoo surface to surface missile. Armenian military police has inducted Made in India Spartan thermal sites from Bangalore based Tunbo Imaging. Parish Defense has announced a strategic joint venture with Israeli firm Heaven Drones for its autonomous hydrogen powered drones. India and Japan discussed potential collaboration on developing tank and aero engines. Indian Army has inducted the RDO developed individual underwater breathing apparatus for T-90 tank crews, that will significantly enhance survivability during deep fording operations. The RDO and Indian Navy have successfully undertaken combat firing of the indigenously designed and developed advanced multi-influence underwater naval mine. A senior Indian Air Force official has said, that while the 5.5 generation AMCA program remains a priority, the Air Force has also initiated preliminary studies for a 6th generation fighter jet, and the Air Force will come up with its own requirements by early 2030, and the goal is to have a 6th generation fighter prototype ready by 2040. It will have capabilities such as twice the range and weapons payload of the AMCA, and will feature active camouflage, AI-driven autonomy for man-unman teaming with loyal wingmen, next-generation hypersonic weapons and laser systems. Four leading Indian technology companies, Infosys Limited, Tata Consultancy Services, l and Technology Services Limited, and Scient Limited have successfully cleared the technical evaluation phase for the detailed design and engineering of the airframe for India's AMCA stealth fighter jet, which will incorporate 60-80% to 80 carbon fiber composites by weight, that will enhance strength reduce weight and improve maintainability. The Indian Ministry of Defence is on the verge of approving a massive 25,000 crore rupees order for the quick reaction surface-to-air missile system. This significant procurement order comes after the completion of limited series production unit deliveries, which suggests that the QR SAM has met initial operational requirements, paving the way for this large-scale order. Today's top 3 comments, 